Hello gorgeous peeps, this is Chris from Techspert and this wee chappy here is the Sphero Rover. It's basically a cute little programmable robot designed to teach kids how to code while also making it fun and engaging. It's available right now from Amazon and direct from Sphero as well for 250 quid or if you're an educational body you can pick up a five pack of Rovers for a grand. Now Sphero of course already caters for quite young kids with its bolt and mini devices but the Rover is aimed at kids who are a little bit older, say early teens. So it's basically designed to offer a bit more of a challenge to those who want it and also you've got full compatibility with third party devices such as micro bits and the like as well, a bit of Raspberry Pi action so you can expand the Rover's abilities. I'm going to get it fully unboxed anyway show you exactly what you get and then show you some of the cool tricks that the rover is capable of. Now first up there is the rover itself as you can see a very different offering to the likes of the bolt and all that kind of stuff as well. It's got two proper little tank style treads that it can roll about on. Uh, pretty durable hard wearing and they're designed to work even on uneven surfaces outdoors and the like. Inside here you've got even more bits to add onto the rover as you can see there a roll cage and a mountain plate if I can actually get it out of the box. And the roll cage just clips on like so and there you go nice and sturdy and then in this final box we have a removable rechargeable battery as well to just power the rover nice hefty affair as you can see there and uh, whenever rover needs a recharge basically just plop the battery out and then plug it in via type c usb so your standard phone charger cable etc etc i do actually get a charging cable bundled in the box nice vibrant blue affair you're not going to be losing that anytime soon and then in here as you can see you've got a quick start guide a legal Nanigans, all the rest of it as well. So it just tells you exactly how to put together your rover. To actually get started with them as well, you'll need to download the Edu app, uh, which is available on both iOS and Android, I believe, completely free of charge, of course. And you also get a selection of colourful cards as well. So you can actually play games with Sphero. I'll touch on that in a bit. Now, the Sphero rover has all kinds of built-in sensors so we can actually detect what's going on in the environment around him. So you've got all the standard stuff like an accelerometer, durometer. He's also got a built-in ambient light sensor, and down below he's got a colour sensor as well. You've also got full infrared red abilities as well in order to communicate with other smart gear and you can pop the wee chappy open by pushing this little button up at the front and that opens them up as you can see there you can get full access to his internals so the Sparrow Rover will work straight out of the box or you can expand his abilities using these little ports here connecting third party uh, accessories such as the Raspberry Pi, the BBC Micro Bits and Sparrow's own little bits. You just got to stick them in this four pin extension port right here and you've got a USB-A right there as well in order to actually power the device too. So of course those devices will just drain power directly from the Rover's own battery which slots into this little middle segment right here. You can just access it via this little hatch here. So the Sparrow's Edu app allows coders of all abilities to program the rover using simple graphical interfaces or by getting stuck in with a proper bit of javascript action if you're a bit of a clever clogs. So on a very basic level for instance you can move the rover by feeding him specific instructions, directions, speed, all of that gubbins and off the little fella goes. Alternatively you can bring the rover's sensors into play, for instance have it move whenever his ambient sensor detects light over a set brightness level. But the true fun of course comes with the expandability. So here's an example of a little bit's rig being stuck on top of the rover. It's again a pretty basic setup but it shows you the kind of interesting projects you can play around with. Here the rover has been programmed to move forwards until it detects an obstacle and then launch a missile at it using that catapult. Sure it probably won't scare off any burglars but it'll definitely freak out the cat. And here's another example where the speed of the anemometer's rotations determine how fast the rover moves. So as you can see the possibilities really are just limited by your own imagination and whatever gear you can pilfer from your dad's shed. The rover also likes to play little games like this one using the bottom mounted colour sensor. Your task is very basically to arrange the cards into the precise colour sequence that the rover is thinking of and if you manage it his eyes will flash in joyous rapture. And as I mentioned before you can also communicate with compatible devices like Sphero's own Bolt using that IR blaster. So here's a simple example where we coded the Bolt to spin around in celebration and flash a smiley face whenever we successfully beat the colour game. On Sphero's own website you'll find an active community which helps to share coding tips, assets, lesson plans, all kinds of stuff and Sphero itself is an active participant in that as well. It's great to see a product being supported so strongly, it really keeps those engagement levels high. So that right there is the Sphero Rover in a nutshell. Definitely let us know what you think down below if you've had a bit of a play with the Rover or any of the other Sphero merchandise stuff. It'd be great to hear your thoughts and please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Cheers everyone!